This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10 and verse 15. Shall the axe boast itself against him that heweth therewith, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? As if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up, or as the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory as always unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakak Wadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew, for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shah. These be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Gray Millstone. Who have taught me this truth of the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Peace, love, blessing, salutations. Be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect prophesied to come out of this world and return unto our true identity, man. You see? Which is not that of being a so called Negro, Latino, or Native American, man. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. You see? And the Spirit has returned unto our people that we could remember who we were and come out of the darkness of this world in preparation for our kingdom, man. You see, we are the powers of this universe. And as you look around you and you see nothing but death, nothing but the world crying out for salvation, you see the answer is for the Heavenly Father to remove those who He has put in power over this planet and put the rightful heirs back in place, man. All right? And this is all according to prophecy. You see? That we would break the covenant with the Heavenly Father. And he would give, give our inheritance, this world, into the hand of the heathen nations. You see? And more so the base of man. The nation of Edom. The Caucasoid. You see? And what's the likeness of this last beast system, this nation of Edom? As we went into on the last lesson, the Heavenly Father hath created a villain, man. He created a particular nation, you see, to fulfill their role as the, uh, as the whooping stick, as the chastiser, as the oppressor, man. You see, as we went into last time, and as this scripture shows you, man, you see, the axe does not boast itself against the, the, the holder of it. You see? The axe was simply created to, to, to chop, and that's all it's going to do, man. You see, the Heavenly Father did the same thing. He created everything to fulfill its role on this planet, man. He created the Israelites to have the law and, and establish life and rule over it. As he's created the oppressor, the villain... To have its part in this time. Let me go ahead and grab. This is the book of. Sirach chapter 33. And. Uh, verse 10. It says. And all men are from the ground. And Adam was created of the earth. So. You know, going all the way back to the beginning, man. The Heavenly Father created all men. You see? He created Adam through Adam. Noah was delivered from the flood. He had his three sons. Who then, the nations that you see all around you. You see, 18 of them. All right? Where, where, where. Came from, from, from. from Shem, Ham, and Jepheth to, to populate the earth, man. All right? And the Heavenly Father had created all of these 18 nations to fulfill their particular role, man. Just like he's created animals to fulfill their role. Just as he's created trees to fulfill their role, man. You have fruit trees. And then on the contrary, you have what? You have uh, 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 fungal trees, man. Plants and what have you. Mushrooms, you see? All of this... The Heavenly Father has created to give the balance of life, man. All right? 
going into the animals. You have the predator. You have the, uh, the herbivore. You see? In other words, the circle of life, man. You even have the bottom feeders. You see? Animals that the Heavenly Father created to consume the unclean things of this earth, man. The trash, you see? Living garbage disposals, man. Which would be what? The pig? Shrimp, crab, lobster in the oceans? Which is why the law tells you you cannot eat these meats. These meats were created, these animals were created to consume the filth of the earth, man. All right, then you go and consume these things that you were told not to eat by the creator. The creator created the creation and knows how to cause life to prosper here. But you went ahead and tossed it aside and, and, and chased after whatsoever was put before you, man. Which in today's day and age is whatever this oppressor has put before us, man. All right, wondering why we're dying from all this disease and what have you. And it all goes back to, to, to that there, man. Everything was created for its purpose, but we have chaos throughout the earth, man. Even even the, 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 the woman and the household and the man have all left their purpose, man. You see? Esau's broken up households, this devil has done nothing but destroy, man. So the whole world is crying out for chaos, and the Heavenly Father is going to come back and establish order, man. And as we got before... You see, this, this oppressor was created to oppress, man. The Heavenly Father, just as he said in Jeremiah, what? Before you were in the womb, I ordained you a prophet, man. The Heavenly Father needed a prophet, so he created a prophet to prophesy, to bring forth the Heavenly Father's word, man. The Heavenly Father ain't going to just jump out of the clouds and start talking to you, man. He needed a prophet, so he created Jeremiah in that, in that uh, context, man. He needed an oppressor. What did he do? The heavenly father, the creator of all energy, didn't just go choose an oppressor, man. He created the oppressor to fulfill his role, man. And that's why this devil has been so crafty and has been able to prosper to the point that it has, man. All right. Let's lock you. I know I'm, I'm, let, me, let me go ahead and continue. Verse 11, it says, In much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. So the heavenly father divided all these nations, man. <laughs> he divided these 18 nations coming from, from, from all the way from Adam you see, and made their ways diverse. Why are their ways diverse? If we supposed to be all the same, why did why, why did the heavenly Father destroy uh, uh, the Tower of Babel, man? Because separation is a good thing, man. Nothing could flourish without there being an order and separation. You can't go into a a, a a company that's on this earth and you're gonna see everybody is is the same. You're gonna have all the way down from the. Uh, you know, from, from the from the maid who's keeping the place tidy and clean all the way up to the CEO, man. That's passing out the paychecks. You see? Everybody has, has, has to fulfill their role, man. Otherwise, the company is going to fall. And basically what's happened is the Heavenly Father created this planet, created the, the, the people to rule over it, and everything in between all the way down to the base of man who's Esau, Edom, who now we have ruling over us, man. So the Heavenly Father took that maid and put it on top. You see? But more in particular, this guy was not created to clean. This guy was created to kill, man. As you got through the, through the last lesson. And maybe I'll grab another couple precepts here. You see? But I'm going to continue reading here. Yeah, we'll, Lord willing, we'll go to uh, his blessing, man. Verse 12, it says, Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them hath he sanctified. You see, so he well, it didn't say all of them. The Heavenly Father exalted some of them, man. Well, you go and start a company up and you exalt all of them to be the CEO. Who the fuck's gonna, gonna be actually running the show, man? Who's gonna be actually doing the field work, you see? Going on, it says, and set them near himself. So he set some near himself, man, which we know to be the Israelites. You see? you can grab all through the scriptures man one that comes to mind deuteronomy 7 and 6 man go read that but going on it says but some of them hath he cursed and brought low look at that man how come they don't read this to you in the churches some of them hath he cursed and brought low he's cursed some of these nations man he's brought some of these nations low you see 
and this is the doing of the creator of all energy so there ain't no going around this man this is the way it is point blank period this is why uh uh what's his name boaz if i'm saying is uh, uh if i'm if i'm remember re remembering his name correctly went to go uh put a curse on israel at the request of uh you know of the moabite king and that curse turned into a blessing man you cannot go away from the word of the heavenly father you might see some type of power in this world man maybe some witchcraft whatever the case may be but guess what who is the creator of all energy the power of powers man that is the power that we have in our corner you see ain't nobody could put a curse against us except the heavenly father ordain it man except for the heavenly father uh, uh be okay with it ain't nobody could do a damn thing against us point blank period man you see let me go ahead and finish this up you know what i'm gonna grab a precept and then we'll jump back over here man just go off the spirit man let the spirit kind of run there's uh romans 8 and um verse 36 as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long you see for the sake of yahweh by shim yahweh shai man we be catching hell you see look at all the prophets which one of them which one of them got got a uh, uh uh, uh, a pat on the back you see a hug and a kiss from this world by prophesying the word of yahweh by shim yahweh shai man didn't yahweh shai say that 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 they say i'm a devil i have a devil how much more are you you see this message of the heavenly father comes contrary to this world why because we are preaching another king man Yahweh Shai is coming to do what? To, to destroy all dominion on this earth and establish one dominion. The dominion of the Most High, which will be governed by the elect of Israel, man. You see, this is the will of the Heavenly Father. This is what will restore order, man. All right? But as it is now, as we're repenting and, and leaving the ways of this world, we're receiving nothing but hatred from this world for it, man. And even to the point that... <laughs> We're beginning to have to, uh, you know, really, really uh, practice what we preach, so to speak, man. Here it is. We, we, we've been telling you, hey, we got to cut off this world. Now it's getting to the point where we can't even work, man. Unless, unless Esau, unless you take that Edomite juice, you see? And it's going to get to the point where you have to take that uh, Karagma, man. The Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID microchip. All right? So anyway, man, we, we, we go through hell in this world, but we know and understand that we have a kingdom to come, man. So that's what we are sowing, you see? We are sowing for this kingdom to come because we know soon we will reap. You see? We gave up everything in this world, but what did the Most High give us, man? Seeds. Seeds to sow for our world which is to come, man. And as we've been sowing, you've been seeing this world around you decay and be destroyed prophecy being fulfilled even to the point that now the whole world is beginning to see who the true wicked is man here it is christianity told us satan was going to pop out the woodwork and make you all take a mark now you're seeing who, who who's who, who is it that, that that's pushing forth his agenda throughout this world man this wicked government beast system man verse 37 nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us look at this man who, who gives a fuck, man? Fuck this world, man. And, every, and, and everybody in it who's not riding for Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. You see? Why? Because you can't do a damn thing against us, man. And all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, man. Through who? Yahweh Shai. His blood was spilt. The Most High and the Most High uh, uh, showed us love by giving us Yahweh Shai, man. He could have did whatever he wants as he is the highest power. And we couldn't have said anything against it, man. Even if he did change his mind and change his word. You see? But the scriptures tell you that the Most High is not a man that he should lie. Therefore, he's kept his promises. How did he keep them? By giving us Yahweh Shai, man. So through that love, through that special love that he has for Israel, we've been made more than conquerors, man. The power of the creator of all energy is in our corner, man. Verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death nor light so death is not going to separate you from our power so go ahead and go ahead and bring it esau man going on it says nor life nor angels so not even an angel could separate you man 
nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. You see, the powers of this world won't be able to separate you, man, nor any power, nor things present, nor things to come. Nothing, no force on earth could separate you, man. Because we got the creator of all energy in our corner, man. The very same power that has built Esau, you see, the Caucasoid, the Caucasian, up to this point of power that he looks untouchable, you see, just so the Heavenly Father could destroy his ass, man. Just so the Heavenly Father could, 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 could use him for a role and toss him aside, man. And, he's, and, and this devil's had the whole world fooled to think that he has some type of power in his hands. No siree, man. No, and, and the whole world is going to know this when he gets destroyed. Which will usher in the next prophecies. The whole world coming to bow the knee unto our king, man. Going on, it says, Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of power which is in Hamashayak Yahawashai, our master. So ain't nothing's going to be able to separate us, man. You see? Nothing. Why? Because this very same power that created all creation, he's hath blessed and exalted our nation, man. <laughs> so there ain't no getting around that. Uh, let's see, where were we, man? We're in the book of Sirach. Chapter 33. And going on, it says... Uh, let's see, where were we? Some of them have he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him, to render to him as liketh him best. Good is said against evil, life against death, so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. Hey, he created right, he created left, he created up, he created down, he created hot, he created cold, he created good, he created bad, he created light, he created dark, he created Jacob, and he created Esau. And what was Esau's blessing? Let's go ahead and just grab that. We'll end on this, man, to show you how he is the whooping stick. He is the weapon, which is why the book of Habakkuk tells you what? That he is as death himself, man. He enlargeth his desire as hell. You see? But let's go ahead. Genesis 27. In verse 39, all right, this is after Jacob received the blessing of Esau, and Esau came in stomping his feet asking for another blessing. Jacob received the blessing of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man, to follow him along his seed line, which would then lead to the 12 tribes of Israel, which would lead to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today. But with that being said, you've been scattered throughout the whole world, you see? So it's not so much of a thing of the flesh as we've all been scattered throughout this world in slavery, man. You see? But, if you're able to understand and perceive these words, man, if the Spirit is dealing with you, then you are an Israelite point-blank period, man. You do not need to show any type of genealogy to us, man. You see? We are spiritual judges, man. As the scriptures say, uh, uh, the, the, the righteous man judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. We've been learned to judge according to the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, not according to this world, not according to our emotion or, or our opinion, but according to the word of the Most High, which is what we are going to use to judge this earth, man. This very same law that we've been given that will be written within us after we overcome, man. This will bring, bring peace on earth, which will establish fully our blessing, which is up here above, man. But now let's go ahead and, con and get into Esau's blessing just to show you how he is the whooping stick, man. He is the sword. You see, 
And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword thou shalt live and serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break the yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of this blessing, wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. And there begin the hatred from, from the from the so-called white man to the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. All right. Which now we're coming into our true identity, which now we know we are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. You see, which brings forth what? The prophecies of Ezekiel 37, us coming into the knowledge of who we are, coming back to life and preparing to be restored into our kingdom and overcoming this flesh, man. Peace on earth will be established once the true Israelites are, are put back in power, man. Esau will be wiped away. No other rule will be on this planet. You see, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, and that's why those wicked were needed by the, by, by the so-called Jewish community out there today to be put in the place they're in, man, because they are not the true people. We will be moved there by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai himself. You see? But hey, what did, it, what did it say, man? His dwelling should be the fatness of the earth, so he's got the chief places of this world. And what? By his sword he shall live. You see? So his blessing was the sword, man. His blessing was the weapon, which is why the Heavenly Father said that he's afflicted us ugh, Salakia, that he's afflicted us with the hands of the cruel one, man. He's he's the most high needed the villain, he needed a devil, he needed a he needed a sword, so he created that man. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end there, man. All praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shabbat Hashim Rakakwa Dash, double honors unto the others and the apostles. And peace, love, blessings, salutations unto the elect. Shalom.